Hello, in today's video, I'm going to be doing an orchid bloom showcase on one of my favorite orchids, my Brasavala nodosa. So, actually I haven't done or uploaded a video on this one in like two years. I think the last time I did a video on this one was in November of 2020, so it's been quite a while since any of you have seen this one. And it's also been quite a while that I've been on YouTube. I didn't even realize that I've been on here for like two and a half years already, but <laughs> anyways, let's get into the plant. So this is my Brasavala nodosa. So it is a 3N, which means that it's a 4N crossed with a 2N, so it has three sets of chromosomes, which means that while it is generally vigorous, it is most likely sterile or it's not going to produce a large amount of viable seeds because of the way the chromosomes are going to split up. But it is super vigorous and it's really fun to grow and as you can see it's got a lot of growths in here. It's got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 in the pot and then I have 2 that are growing outside of the pot so that's 12 total in um, a 1 liter plastic paint bucket. And this one is growing in, uh, I think actually this one is in uh, the bark mix only, I don't think there's any moss in here, and, the, and then there's some leca down at the bottom. Um, but it seems to be growing well in this, but as you can see, it's getting pretty big, so I'm probably going to um, divide it like about here and um, repot both halves because yeah I don't really want to up pop this into a bigger one yet. So let's take a look at the flowers which you've probably all been waiting for. So this orchid has two personal records this blooming cycle. The first personal record is most flowers on a single spike with four on this one and then is that four? That is four. <laughs> They're all jumbled together, so I can really tell. Um, but the other personal record is for most flowers in total, because we have seven flowers on two different spikes here. So definitely a super vigorous grower, really easy bloomer. Honestly, it might be the easiest bloomer in my collection. And I kind of wanted to talk a little bit about um, Nidosas, because when you go online and read about the Nidosas, You'll get a lot of um, care requirements that say it needs like 60, 60 to 70 percent humidity and blah blah blah, this amount of light, blah blah blah. But in my experience, the Nidosa is probably like the easiest um, Cattleya type to grow, and its hybrids are also super easy to grow. Their hybrids tend to be small, so you can fit them in places where you wouldn't be able to fit larger orchids and all of that. So I just really think the online um, care tips for Nidosa specifically are a little bit lacking um, and might turn off some growers. It definitely turned me off from growing Nidosas until I, you know, just finally ended up getting one and discovered how easy they were to grow compared to what the online care requirements had led me to believe. But let's get into this lower spike and see what's going on. Okay, so here's the lower spike, and as you can see, it's got four blooms on it, at least there's four lips there that you can see, it's kind of hard to differentiate the flowers, um, and I'm definitely going to make sure that I um, grow this one better next time, um, because when the growths flop over like this, um, the blooms kind of just end up going whichever way, and it's not a nice presentation, especially because this nodosa, which you can kind of see on this back flower right here, um, the top steeple um, almost stands up completely straight, which doesn't usually happen with nodosas, and that's why I'm kind of disappointed in this lower, uh, this lower spike down here, although it is entirely my fault, so I'm more disappointed in myself than the actual plant. But yeah, super pretty, and let's just look at the top spike because that one actually has the flowers in a better arrangement. Okay, and here's the upper spike. And you can really see on this one back here 
how straight up these sepals are and you know last time they were almost completely straight um, but yeah very nice flower super pretty lip it's like almost like silky the way the light shimmers off of it and it's got a nice fragrance um, my friend thinks it smells like plastic and flowers I don't get much of a plastic scent it smells more like gardenias to me um, but yeah, this one's super easy to grow if you can get a 3N and you're not trying to hybridize with, you know, the specific plant, then I definitely think they're a good option, especially for new growers, since the 3Ns do tend to be a little bit more vigorous than the 2Ns. So not much more to say about this one. Super easy grower, easy bloomer, it's fragrant. If you don't have an Adosa and you grow cat Leia's, get one because what are you doing with your life? <laughs> but this has been the Orchid Bloom Showcase of my Brasovola and Adosa 3N. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. And look who is watching me make videos. Baby. Oh, and I also wanted to say, um, I don't put ads on my YouTube channel, so if there are any ads on my YouTube channel, I do not put them on there. Feel free to use ad block and skip them. I may, like, make a cash app, so in case you guys do want to help me out, you can. But as of right now, I do not have one, and I'm not putting ads on the videos, so feel free to skip them. Bye!